I'm Eric Dennison. I'm co-owner here at Newfangled Kitchen. I'm Laura Dennison, co-owner at Newfangled Kitchen. We've been married for 20 years and we've been together 22. 22 years. We met uh, in a restaurant that we both worked at. Laura was a bartender. I was cooking at that restaurant. I was in college at the time. I guess a lot of people, I think, in our industries, in the restaurant industry, sort of meet that way. And, um, yeah. The last, I don't know, 25 years I've been in restaurant management. Most recently with Cat Singer's Delicatessen. Uh, I was there for eight years and then uh, after that, Lexi's on 3rd downtown Columbus for three years. I was uh, secretary at Maryland Elementary School here in Bexley. Or this was my 10th year there. Um, prior to that, I was pretty much a stay-at-home mom with our kids. We kind of always wanted to do our own thing together. The base of all of our conversations was the nostalgia of food, and, and we've sort of gotten away from that in the last 15 years, I'd say, with the advent of more sterile restaurants, the corporate uh, chains taking over the industry to a large degree, and that nostalgia has sort of gotten left behind. So our thought was, okay, let's sort of explore potential restaurant from that vantage point of nostalgia and what's more nostalgic than say a dish like meatloaf. We ended up with what we felt was a really strong menu and a really strong concept and, and putting a more modern twist on old ideas and concepts. Yeah, it's so newfangled. You know, newfangled, so it's, yeah. right. like your grandparents with that newfangled thing, something they're not familiar with. That yeah, yeah. Technology or something. So newfangled just kind of was the word we thought to use and was kind of cool. This is the best thing in Bexley. And the bottom line of it is I try to tell everyone about it. This place needs to stay here. This is one of the best restaurants that has been open in Bexley in a long time. Affordable, five-star, San Francisco taste. You can't beat it. I got the look on free grilled cheese, and it's probably the best grilled cheese I've had in a really, really long time. This place is way better than the cafeteria food. <laughs> Do you like yours? Good. Yeah. Good. Nice turkey sandwich. <laughs> That unity, that mission of family, we're all so invested in what's, what's happening here. And we understand how important it is to give great service. And I've seen a lot of growth in my son, in Ethan, in just taking things on because there's something bigger than just us involved here. It's enjoyable. Uh, <laughs> I've always really enjoyed working in the food industry. I've been in it since I was 11. When you're growing up around it your entire life, you get the hang of things pretty easily, and I don't know, it's just kind of fun. And right here, Ethan's making uh, our fang, which is our our most popular sandwich. So our meat look go in our, uh, our quick uh, convection ovens. They're really the, the top of the line uh, ovens for, for doing this kind of work. So. We're doing an all ground beef meatloaf. Very basic. Eggs, ground beef, milk, onion, and some seasonings. And that's that's it. I, I was on the Food Network one time. This was many moons ago. You start with whole chickens. See, and I get made fun of all the time for it because I had one line. We're gonna start off with some whole chickens. So when I worked at Cat Singers, Ted Allen had a, had a spot on the best thing I ever ate. And my famous line was, we start with whole fresh chicken. That's the only thing I said on the whole thing. And, I, and my, my aunt made fun of me because she said, oh, Eric got fat. And I said, well, the camera adds 10 pounds. And Ethan oh. said, how many cameras did you have on you? <laughs> so it was a blessing and a curse. There's a Neighbor Brothers song, it's called Salvation Song. And the lyrics go something like this. We came for salvation, we came for family. It's almost a theme song for what we, for how we got here. It's a strong message and at the end of the day there is that sort of, that, that connection to the music, to the family, to the restaurant and, you know, why you do what you do. My dad 
who passed away um, about six years ago, um, and he'd really be down for this. And he would think this is really, really cool. Uh, and he'd be really proud. And that's, you know, that's something that, that and that's why you do, do things in life, you know? Yeah.